for Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Essie Heinrich. From London, in industrialized countries, those infected with HIV now experience mortality rates similar to those of the general population in the first five years after infection. In a study of over 16,000 people, the excess mortality rate of those infected with HIV sexually dropped from 40.8 before 1996 to 6.1 in 2006. However, excess mortality was still evident in the long term. From Paris, newborns undergo several procedures that can result in pain and stress, with many performed without medication or therapy. In a study of nearly 61,000 first attempt procedures on newborns, nearly 70% were associated with pain and 30% were associated with stress. The researchers state that the prevention of pain in newborns is both an ethical obligation and a way to avert immediate and long-term adverse consequences. And finally from Boston, an intensive treatment strategy in men and high-risk women with ST-segment elevation myocardial infarction, or angina, may reduce the risk of heart attack or death, but may increase the likelihood of these events in low-risk women given the same treatment. In a study of over 10,000 patients, men receiving the intensive strategy had a 27% lower risk of heart attack or death, high-risk women had a 19% lower risk, while low-risk women had a 35% higher risk. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Essie Heinrich.